Good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this fifth day of February, and it is Saturday, and today's topic is titled, Trust Him, and that would be Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. If you have not trusted Him today, well, today is the day of salvation, so let's go ahead and uh, have you call upon Him to save your soul, amen? It's the greatest thing you'll ever do. Amen. So we'll find out more about that here in a few minutes. First, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by him. All right, so we're going to start with today's scripture song, which is from Psalm 57, 9 through 11. So press play and sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. All right. Psalms 57, 9 through 11. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations, for thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Amen. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations, for thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted. yesterday's and we'll do those scripture songs again towards the end of the broadcast amen good uh scripture there praise the lord all right now we'll get into today's baptist bread topic titled trust him for this fifth day of february and the passage is from philippians 3 10 and it says that i may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death philippians 3 10 and today's author is R.P., and I believe that's uh, the initials, initials for Randy Pike. Let me see here. R.P., where is uh, Where are we here? All right, yep, that would be Randy Pike, missionary statesman from Greenville, South Carolina. So let me read you what he wrote on this topic of trust him. <clears throat> All right, he says here, as he writes, he says, David said... It is good for me that I have been afflicted. Psalm 119.71 Paul and Silas, even at the dark midnight hour in the filthy prison at Philippi, Acts 16.25, were offering up prayers and praise. Stop trying to figure it all out, for you cannot. If God should choose to lift the curtain and offer you just a glimpse of the reason for your trials and sufferings, which mostly he won't, then you are to love and trust him all the more for this special blessing. Yeah, that's, and that's very hard to do. Uh, there is another view to our sorrows that the eternal God, the supreme, uh, sovereign king of kings and lord of lords, would choose uh, that we redeemed uh, mortals could by our trials, sorrows, storms, and griefs somehow reflect the likeness of Christ. 
and that we could demonstrate our oneness with him, be as he was in the world. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world, 1 John 4:17, and partake of his sufferings by bearing his cross, Luke 14:27, with Matthew 10:38. Thus honored uh, from heaven, poor, frustrated, and bewildered Job, trying to put it all together, finally gave vent to what is becoming our prayer also, though he slay me. Yet will I trust him, Job thirteen fifteen, and he writes here in big bold letters, We love him with the mad passion of the redeemed. Amen. So let's love him more, amen, for what he did for us, and uh, those times that we have trials and troubles and tribulations in this life, um, let's just keep blessing the Lord, amen. Praise God. All right, so let's keep trusting him, even in those times of trials and tribulations and all that stuff and uh amen all right good thing to take heed of all right so that is the end of the baptist bread uh devotional topic trust him <clears throat> amen all right so now i'll go ahead and get into the boots on the ground devotional and this is written by randy wells daily devotions for the christian soldier and today's topic for this one is titled unconcerned and this takes place on February 5th, 1958. And the passage is from Luke 15, 4. It says, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, does not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it? Luke 15, 4. All right, so he writes here, In a 2001 news conference, Air Force weapons advisor Dr. Billy Mullins made the startling statement, We still think it's er, irretrievably lost. We don't know where to look for it. Incredibly, Dr. Mullins was speaking of a 7,600-pound hydrogen bomb. Oh, boy. Uh, on 5 February 1958, a U.S. Air Force B-47 bomber carrying a live hydrogen bomb collided with an F-86 fighter jet over the state of Georgia. The mid-air collision destroyed the F-86 and severely damaged the bomber. Because of its cargo, the Air Force bomber could not make an emergency landing, so it was ordered to drop its nuclear payload into the Atlantic Ocean somewhere off the eastern coast of Georgia, near a little resort town called Tabai. Tabi, or Tabai. T-Y-B-E-E, -E. Uh, while no radiation or any ill effects have been, ever been traced to the lost bomb, the Air Force has occasionally returned to look for it, yet without success. Experts estimate that the bomb lies buried beneath 8 to 40 feet of water and 5 to 15 feet of mud and sand. In 2005, the Air Force nuclear weapons and counter- uh, proliferation agency advised the Air Force to stop looking for the bomb and leave it in place. One would think that the residents of Tabai, uh, to be, uh, would have relocated after hearing that a nuclear bomb was a considerable distance from their shores, but such is not the case. Instead, Tabai has thrived as a resort spot and advertising makes no mention of the lost nuclear bomb. Our world is filled with people lost in their sin, right? Uh, without the hope of eternal life. Yet, like the citizens of Tobai, many Christians give little thought to the lost. The Lord Jesus Christ told three parables in Luke 15, illustrating his concern for all who are lost. And in Luke 19.10, he declared, For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost, before we are quick to judge the Air Force for giving up their search of the bomb, let's be sure that we are dynamically searching for the lost. Ooh, ouch, yeah. So let's make sure we're always 
searching for the lost and telling people about Jesus and uh, no matter uh, what, amen. And there's times where we t are, all of us are guilty of doing that and just passing by somebody and not giving them a gospel tract. They're not stopping by and talking to them and letting them know how Jesus can save their soul and just letting them go on by. And uh, mm, not good that we do that kind of stuff. So let's make sure we're more concerned for the lost every day. And uh, amen. All right, so that is the end of the topic, unconcerned. So let's be more concerned for lost souls and people not perishing in their sin and that they can have an opportunity to come to Christ. <clears throat> Amen. All right, so that being said, let's take heed to that also. All right, so now we're going to go and get in today's hymn uh, story here, or I mean hymn, and then the little story on the bottom here. There actually is a story for this one. And this is on page 26 of the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. And it says, it's a praise unto God and Him. And it's titled, Now Thank We All Our God. And this is written by Martin R Rinkert, who lived from 1586 to 1649. Translated by Catherine w Winkworth, 1827 to 1878. And uh, Johan... Uh, Kruger, uh, 1598 to 1662. That's Johann Kruger. It's J O H A N N C R U G E R. Um, that's 1598 to 1662. Amen. <clears throat> All right. So let me press play here. And... All right. Now thank we all our God with hearts and hands and voices whose wondrous things hath done in whom his world rejoices who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love, and still is ours today. Oh, may this bounteous God through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us and keep us in his grace and guide us when perplexed and free us from all ills in this world and the next all praise and Thanks to God, the Father now be given, the Son and Him who reigns with them in highest heaven, the one eternal God, who mirth and heaven adore. For thus it was, is now, and shall be evermore. Amen. Amen. Good hymn there. Alright, so, I'll go ahead and read you the little story down here at the bottom. It says, uh, though oft considered lines of celebration, the origins of this hymn come from a far bleaker hour written in the throes of the Thirty uh, Years' War. Rinkhart buried above uh, 4,000 uh, from his small native town of uh, Illenburg at times performing nearly 50 funerals 
in a single day, uh, plundered and besieged his meager possessions expired in aid to his countrymen, grateful for uh, crumbs that remained. Uh, these lines echoed about the humble minister's family table, finding comfort in naught else. His respite rested in the consolation of the cross. As peace fully came, the old pastor burst out in joyous song, Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices. Amen. Praise the Lord. So... Pretty good little uh, snip of a story, story there about this uh, uh, man here. Amen. All right, so that is the end of the um, hymn. And let me give you the scriptures here on the sides for each of the three stanzas. First one is Psalm 69, 30, and then Psalm 40, verse 5, and then Psalm 71, 6, and then stanza 2 has Hebrews 13, 5, and then John 14, 27, and then... Um, Philippians uh, 4, 7, and then the third stanza has Hebrews 13, 15, and then Ephesians 4, 6. Amen. So that is the end of the hymn. Now thank we all our God, and we should thank God for everything. Amen, and bless his holy name. Hallelujah. All right, so now I'll go ahead and sing the scripture songs again, first from yesterday, and then conclude with today's. Amen. Right. Psalms 57, 7. My, my heart, heart is fixed, O oh God. My heart, heart is fixed. fixed. I, will I will sing and, and give, give praise. praise. Amen. My heart is fixed, O oh God. My heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. My heart is fixed, O oh God. My heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. My heart is fixed, my heart is fixed, oh God, my heart is fixed, I will sing and give praise, my heart is fixed, oh God, my heart is fixed, I will sing and give praise, my heart is fixed, amen. All right, now we'll conclude with today's. Psalms 57, 9 through 11. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Amen. I will praise thee, O Lord. For today's broadcast, but before I go, as always, let me go ahead and give you tomorrow's scripture song, and then tomorrow's uh, topics for the Baptist bread, and then the boots on the ground devotionals, 
And tomorrow's scripture song is from Proverbs 24, verse 10. And it says, If thou faint in the day adver of adversity, thy strength is small. And so that's tomorrow's scripture song. And then tomorrow's topic for the Baptist bread is titled, I Cannot. And the passage is from Genesis 1919. So we'll find out more about that tomorrow. I Cannot. So... Amen. And then the Boots on the Ground devotional is titled, A Friend in Need is a Friend Indeed. Amen. Uh, February 6, 1778 is when this event takes place. And the passage is from Proverbs 18.24. So we'll find out more about that topic. A Friend in Need is a Friend Indeed for the Boots on the Ground. Amen. And then... Uh, choose another hymn from the hymn book tomorrow amen so praise the lord and uh if you'd like to get a copy of that uh, boots on the ground book it's uh, available online somewhere online you could probably get it at amazon or abebooks.com or somewhere on the internet or maybe they might have it at your local bookstore you could order it that way if they have copies of it on uh, at the bookstore these days so that's that information boots on the ground daily devotionals for the christian soldier written by randy wells and then the Scripture Songs book and CDs are available on uh, the website here at www.dailyscripturesongs.com. That is Brother Dean and Sister Patty Runyon's website. And uh, they are missionaries to Guyana and Port Kaituma. And so they just uh, got back there uh, a couple weeks ago. So pray for them that they will continue to be able to get the gospel out there. And all those that are uh, helping them, uh, all those brothers and sisters in Christ over there. And um, so many missionaries out there around the world that uh, need our prayers and need our support. So, amen. And you too can be a bold witness in your own backyard. As uh, as the uh, devotional said, that we are to be concerned with the lost and to tell people about Jesus. And then to trust him and, and everything, even in those trials and tribulations and sufferings. Amen. And then the boots, or excuse me, and the Baptist Bread devotional uh, um, information is uh, www.baptistbread.com or www.timgreenministries.org. Amen. And then the um, book here, Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book, is uh, on the website at melodypublications.com. That's where you can find that uh, big, huge hymnal book. Amen. So praise the Lord for that. And praise the Lord for all these men um, and some women that have written these hymns and uh, these men that uh, have done these devotionals. Amen. And if you'd like to check out my other uh, podcast, it's the God's Messenger Lighthouse podcast where I've been reading The Hiding Place, The Triumphant True Story of Corey Temboom, and already going into chapter 14. There's two more chapters left, and then I'll be done with that one, and then go into the next one, which will be The Return to the Hiding Place, which is Hans Pillay's story. Amen. So go we'll check that out at God's Messenger Lighthouse Podcast. Amen. If you like to hear uh, audiobooks. Amen. So that's that uh, uh, platform. Amen. So it's on Anchor or Spotify or iHeartRadio. All right. So, and also if you know somebody doesn't have Facebook, you can direct them to the YouTube page at uh, Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting or they can type in Baptist Bread Devotional. Amen. And uh, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so they can know when I'm posting them up on YouTube. Amen. All right. Well, that'll be it for today. So thanks for watching and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye for now.